Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to review the second movie in the Star Wars franchise. This one is called Attack of the Clones. They start off on the skyscraper planet. First, there's this huge explosion. The space monks are not very happy about the explosions. The space president's like, we have to do something about this. This is unacceptable. The clown whore is in danger. And so these two space monks are assigned to watch over her. The little kid is all grown up now and he has a crush on the clown whore. Meanwhile, across the city, two bounty hunters plot to kill the clown whore. After the ambush is spoiled by the space monks, the space monks have a meeting. They decide to go on two separate missions. One of them goes to see who's trying to kill the clown whore. His friend tells him about some clones. The space monks send him off to find the clones. The other monk is protecting the clown whore. Not long after, they fall in love. Their chemistry together was also spot on. This is probably the most believable romance in cinematic history. I mean, just look at these two lovebirds. Aww. Anyways, back to the clone part of the story. The older space monk finds the clones. There's an entire army of them. The older space monk is very impressed. He is told that this is his army. An army created for the Republic. Created to kill without question. He informs the other space monks back home. The leader of the space monks suspects something evil. Meanwhile, the lovebirds continue making great cinema. I mean, I wish the whole movie was just these two, but we can't always get what we want. Anyway, so the other space monk finds the bounty hunter this was the bounty hunter assigned to kill the clown whore. He is also the host of the clones. The monk and the bounty hunter duke it out. However, the older space monk fails and the bounty hunter gets away.